I'm gonna give him a vicious. That's what. Yeah. Yeah. I, he's not on my level. Nothing he does is defense. You know, his footwork, his IQ, uh, his combinations. I mean, there's nothing that he can bring to the table that's going to be able to, you know, put me in the position that he wants me. So, um, he don't work as hard as me. He's not as disciplined as me. You know, he doesn't keep his weight in check year round like I do. I mean, there's nothing in his game where he's going to be able to outshine me. And uh, he knows that. I think that's one thing that has him, fr you know, flustered at me. It's not like he knows me personally enough to hate me. So why else would you dislike somebody, you know, in that type of manner? I think he knows he can't fuck with me. It's official. Caleb Plant, David Benavides will do battle March 25th. Good fight, but you know my opinion on this fight. This should have happened when these guys were both champions, a unification match. It would have been a much bigger fight to me. And a lot of people were saying that Caleb Plant was scared of David Benavides. Even I got the impression that Caleb Plant did not want to smoke. But the real reason this fight did not happen is because they were trying to build it up. David Benavides' promoter said so. In the latest history, we know what happens when they try to build up fights. Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua. They was trying to build that fight even bigger and both guys end up losing. Tans Crawford and Errol Spence, they're trying to do that, but the guys are getting old and eventually one of those guys is gonna lose. And this is what happened here. Caleb Plant was an undefeated IBF super middleweight champion. He lost to one of the best fighters in the world today in Canelo. No harm in that. David Benavides has been on a consistent diet of tomato cans. And I like David Benavides, but let's be honest, his resume is terrible. And I'm glad he's stepping up. Caleb Plant is stepping up and they're fighting March 25th. Now, some people say David Benavides needs a dominant performance to get his shot at Canelo, even though he'll be the mandatory challenger. I disagree with that. This fight is gonna draw interest. I'd rather see, actually, I'd rather see Canelo fight Benavides than the Bevo fight at 168. If Benavides knocks out Caleb Plant in spectacular fashion in four or five rounds, then that will send a message. We see David Benavides in his fights and he looks very dominant but they're against inferior opponents. So as a boxer fan, we like what we see, but we just don't know how good David Benavides is because his opposition. By far, Plant is the most battle-tested opponent that David Benavides has been in the ring with. So I disagree with people tell me David Benavides needs a dominant performance or he needs to knock out Caleb Plant to get the Canelo fight. The winner of this, by the way, Caleb Plant's a live dog, but the winner of this is the mandatory for Canelo's WBC title. So in Al Davis' words, just win, baby. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.